nature has not made us good at chess. We completely suck at chess. Yeah. Um, in fact, that's why we designed it as a as a game is to be challenging. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if there is something that you know recent progress in the chess and Go has made us realize is that humans are really terrible at those things, like really bad. Yeah. You know, uh, there was a story right before AlphaGo that. Uh, uh, you know, the best Go player thought they were maybe two or three stones behind, you know, an ideal player that they would call God. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, no, they're like nine or 10 <laughs> stones behind. I mean, we're just bad. Yeah. So we're not good at, and it's because we have limited uh, working memory. We, we, you know, we're not very good at uh, like doing this uh, tree exploration that, you know, computers are much better um, at doing than we are. But we are much better at learning differentiable models of the world. I mean, I, I said differentiable in a kind of, you know, I should say, not differentiable in the sense that, you know, we run back through it, but mm-hmm. in the sense that uh, our brain has some mechanism for estimating gradients uh, of, of some kind. Yeah. And that's what, you know, makes us uh, efficient. So if you have an agent that consists of a, a model of the world, which, you know, in the human brain is basically the entire front half of your brain, um, an objective function, which... Uh, in, human, in, in humans is a combination of two things. There is your sort of intrinsic motivation module, which is on the basal ganglia, you know, at the base of your brain. That's the thing that measures pain and hunger and things like that, like immediate uh, uh, f- uh, feelings and emotions. Um, and then there is, you know, the equivalent of what people in reinforcement learning call a critic, which is a sort of module that predicts ahead what the outcome of a, uh, of a situation will be. And so it's it's not a cost function, but it's sort of it's not an objective function, but it's sort of a you know trained predictor of the ultimate objective function, and that also is differentiable. And so if all of this is differentiable, your cost function, your your critic, your uh, you know your your world model, then you can use gradient based type methods to do planning, to do reasoning, to do learning, uh, do, you know to do all the things that we'd like an intelligent uh, agent uh, uh, to do. And the gradient-based learning, like what's your intuition? That's probably at the core of what can solve intelligence. So you don't need like um, logic-based reasoning uh, in your view. I don't know how to make logic-based reasoning compatible with uh, okay. efficient learning. Yeah. And Okay. I mean, there is a big question, perhaps a philosophical question. I mean, it's not that philosophical, but... Uh, that we can ask is is that you know all the learning uh, algorithms we know from engineering and computer science proceed by optimizing some objective function. Yeah. Right. Uh, so one question we may ask is uh, is does learning in the brain minimize an objective function? I mean, it could be a, a you know a, a composite of multiple objective functions, but it's still an objective function. Uh, second, if it does optimize an objective function. Does it do? Does it do it by uh, some sort of gradient estimation? You know, it doesn't need to be backprop, but you know, some way of estimating the gradient in efficient manner, whose complexity is on the same order of magnitude as you know, actually running the inference. Because uh, you can't afford to do things like you know, perturbing a weight in your brain to figure out what the effect is, and then sort of. Uh, you know, you, you can do sort of estimating gradient by perturbation. Mm-hmm. It's it, to me, it seems very imp- implausible that the brain uses some sort of um, you know zero order black box gradient free optimization because it's so much less efficient than gradient optimization. So it has to have a way of estimating gradients. Is it possible that some kind of logic based reasoning emerges in pockets as a useful, like you said? If the brain is an objective function, maybe it's a mechanism for creating objective functions. It's 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 a mechanism for um, creating knowledge bases, for example, that can then be queried. Like maybe it's like an efficient representation of knowledge that's learned in a gradient based way or something like that. Well, so I think there is a lot of different types of uh, intelligence. So first of all, I think the type of logical reasoning that we think about um, that we are you know, maybe stemming from, you know, sort of classical AI of the 1970s and 80s. Um, I think humans use that relatively rarely and are not particularly good at it. But we judge each other based on our ability to uh, solve those rare problems. It's called an IQ test. I think so. Like, I'm I'm not very good at chess. Yes, I'm, I'm judging you this whole time because of it. 
<laughs> well, we we actually with, with your with your uh, you know heritage, I'm sure you're good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> no stereotypes. <laughs> Not all stereotypes are true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm terrible at chess. So, um, <laughs> y- you know. But I think perhaps uh, another type of intelligence that I have is this, uh, uh, you know, ability of sort of building models of the world from, uh, you know, reasoning, obvious, obviously, but also also data. Uh, and those those models generally are more kind of analogical, right? So it's it's uh, it's reasoning by simulation, and but by analogy, where you use one model to apply to a new situation, even though you've never seen that situation, you can sort of. Um, Connected to a situation you've encountered before, uh, and and your reasoning is more, you know, akin to some sort of internal simulation. So you you are kind of simulating what's happening when you're building, I don't know, a box out of wood or something, right? You kind of imagine in in advance, like what would be the result of you know cutting the wood in this particular way? Are you going to use you know screws or nails or whatever? Um, when you are interacting with someone, you also have a model of that person and and sort of interact with that person. You know, having this model in mind uh, to kind of uh, tell the person what, what you think is useful to them. So, I think this this ability to construct uh, models of the world is basically the essence the essence of intelligence, and the ability to use it then to uh, plan uh, actions that will uh, fulfill a particular uh, criterion. Um, of course, is 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 necessary as well. <laughs>